My name is Roden, and we got a little bit more information. Um, it seems like uh, leaks and everything are dropping like almost every day right now. Uh, soon we'll be seeing it more sporadic, but let's keep going with this information that we have. Uh, so right now, as you guys can see, we're going to be going over uh, the Pokemon Arceus leaks, and then um, a few more things, kind of going over uh, the uh, almost like the same thing. We're going to go over this one first. This one comes uh, from Dexter to Dexter2.com. Uh, I'm going to leave the link down below in the uh, description. Um, if you guys haven't seen the other videos, I recommend you guys checking those ones out uh, at some point. Just kind of go over my personal views and asking us questions about the games that you guys think so far. Uh, today, I got a question for you guys, and that is, do you guys think that... The Pokemon Legends Arceus is actually the true main series game. There's some controversy going on whether the remix is the real main series, as that was is being created by uh, Monsters Inc. About well, Monsters Inc. Um, by Game Freak. Um, so I don't even know why I had that like huge ass pause there for a second. I had to think for a second. I was like Monsters Inc. Why am I thinking a movie? Anyway. Um, with our uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus, which is being created by uh, Game Freak, or the remakes of uh, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, which are being created by the uh, a side company. Uh, so let me know what you guys think uh, is in fact the main series game that we would be expecting. Uh, now to go over uh, more Pokemon Arceus leaks and everything, this is what we have seen so far. Um, people from the screen, uh, from different places have noticed that there's this deer-like Pokemon. It looks like you can ride the Pokemon too in, uh, in a, in a leak. Um, and we can also see, we can also see like a few things going on in the side. Almost like, uh, you can throw a ball. Uh, that one looks like a berry. It looks like we got a little mini map. Um, almost like an interactive menu right here, maybe how many, uh, Pokemon you have in your party, uh, maybe an item bag, uh, but we're going to see, it looks like these have all different controls, uh, to what we're going to have, uh, for the game itself. We're going to get another look at that in just a second in this image, where we can see almost like a hiker. Now, this could be a Pokemon, it could not be a Pokemon, we don't know. Um, what we can see though is it looks like it has like a backpack, um, has uh, more thick arms and thick legs, has like a, uh, almost like a braid going on here. Um, it almost reminds me of, um, C Dots Evolution, I'm blanking on the name right now. Um, uh, I know my Pokemon knowledge is like really bad today, um, so I, I apologize for that. Um... But also looks like we have another interactive menu going on on the side here. Um, I don't think it was shown. Yeah, it's not shown in this picture. As it looks like it was cropped out. But in this one, we have a clear view of what looks to be more. Uh, almost like a cam. I want to say it looks like a camera almost. And I don't know what that is. But it looks like we'll have different buttons to do different functions for this game. Um, looks like it's trying to tell us something in the corner here. Um, other than that, it, I don't, we don't know what else is going on here at the moment. Um, a little bit more information, uh, come further down. Um, uh, it looks like you can walk away from battles in this image. It looks like you can walk away from battles in this image. Um, I don't know what that is. Yeah, it could be a Pikachu, but it looks like it is using electric attacks. We don't know for sure. It also could be what's going on here, which it looks like a new Pokemon with the face outline. Maybe a new far-fetched evolution. I know a lot of people were uh, commenting on that, seeing if that was a new far-fetched evolution. Um, we going back to this image though, real first. We're gonna do each individual image. Uh, we do have a health bar. We do have levels. So it looks like our Lucario is level 11, um, which is actually very, 
surprising, which I'm a little concerned about because he has 102 HP. Um, looks like you're in the middle of a battle. Looks like you're trying to like walk away from the battle, but Lucario still wants to fight. But I'm a little concerned um, on the level there because uh, I know Lucario doesn't evolve that that low. Uh, so that might have been a wild Lucario caught. So that'd be interesting. That'd be very interesting. Uh, going over this image, we can see the health bar again. We can see that there's a right um, right on here. Looks like it's level 50 with 370 HP. That could be wrong. That well, with 317, that could be level 80. Um, yeah, because that'd be really high for level for only level 50. Um, that means that like level 100, it would be like 500 at, le at least, and that doesn't seem right. Um, it looks like you're trying to interact with the Rhydon. Um, looks like you have A and B here, um, to try and communicate with the Rhydon. Maybe that, that's how you ride it, and that's why in this top image right here, we're riding a deer Pokemon. Uh, we don't know for sure. Nothing has yet been confirmed. Unfortunately, all this is indeed speculation, so don't quote me on it. Um, again, we see a Shang Tsung Lucario. We don't see the level this time. Uh, and we see the health bar. We see an interactive menu on the side here that we don't see in the other two. So that's actually really good to note. And it looks like we have the A and B. Uh, going on here too, almost like to throw maybe. That actually might be to throw and catch. We, um, now that I think about it, maybe like B is to run, A is to throw or something. Um, it looks like we have right here multiple Pokemon that can be out. It looks like the satellite is indeed a Lucario. Uh, I can't make out the other ones, but it looks like this might be uh, the fact that he that the uh, trainer. Uh, has another four Pokemon uh, that can switch out instead of Lucario. Oh, uh, we, we do see a Shinx. We see the trees in the background and the sunset. So that's actually kind of neat. We're going to see different time zones and everything. And this one, we don't see a sunset. Actually, now that I think about it, this image and this image might be the same. It might be a Shinx. Now that I look at it, it looks like it might be a Shinx that we're battling. So that, that might be the same level uh, going on in this. Uh, image in the bottom left. Uh, now I think about it, because it looks like it's the taking place at the same uh, same time of day. Um, another thing to note that I forgot to note: um, we do have this blue line here. I, I know we had um, almost like a line uh, so, sort of thing in um, previous in a previous game, I believe. Don't quote me again. I believe it was uh, Sun and Moon, if not Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Uh, so we can see that going on. So we have seen this in earlier games, so that's actually good. Um, I'm still skeptical on this A and B thing, because I don't know if that's our right here. I don't know Japanese, unfortunately, um, to tell you if that says uh, ride on or not. So, yeah. You can see the sharpening was fixed a little bit. Um, we don't really see any white going on on the scarf like we saw on the trailer. The trees look a little bit fuller, so that's always good. Now let's talk about this one. This is the main one that I really want to talk about. Um, it looks like it's almost like a raid battle. It gives me that Pokemon Go kind of vibe. Um, we, it looks like we have like a question mark here, a few other commands going on. Um, Maybe like a Pokemon, a Pokemon thing going on in this corner here, but we don't see any Pokemon out doing an attack. So I don't know. Oh, this could be a different move. It could be in a Pokemon. I know a lot of people are saying it is a new Pokemon, but let's not confirm that yet until it is confirmed. Um, I do want to say it is because it looks like it's a raid boss. Um, we can see the helper on top. We can see it's already taken a little bit of damage. Um, so it looks like we won't be having those same functions. Uh, other than that, I don't think there's anything else in this link except for going over that these, again, are confirmed to be the starters. We can see a little bit more detail. I guess this is what the game will mainly look like. We can see that that white strip here. Kind of don't like that, but it looks a little bit neater than what we saw in the uh, trailer. 
looks like there's uh, almost like a town in the background going on over here. Uh, but that's really it. We got like a lake or a river. Uh, and the path continues going all the way back to the mountain range. Um, let's keep scrolling. I believe that was it. Let's see. Yeah, that is all that's going on with the game right now for Pokemon Legends. Um, this website here was just going over the same thing. I'll put the links in the description. Uh, the oh, sorry, not in the description. Um, yeah, yeah, it's, yes, in the description. Wow, I'm really, I'm really off today, guys. Um, the main reason why I brought you over to this link, though, uh, for Twitter, is because it looks like we have a bird Pokemon going on here. Okay, it looks like we have like a bird carrying something going on here. Wish there was a way to get rid of this, but there isn't. Um, so, and we get a little bit more detail on what's going on on the side here. Looks like there's like a yellow thing going on here, maybe to scan the Pokemon. Um, but this this looks this doesn't look like a Pokemon we've seen so far. And I think if we've seen any of these Pokemon, then uh, they would have given us a little bit more information, more than just an outline. Because uh, I mean, we can clearly see the trainer in this one, but the Pokemon's grayed out. Uh, Mount Cornet has the circle above it that had it for the. Uh, original games. That's actually a really good detail to uh, piece together because who knows, maybe the events that happened in Diamond and Pearl happened before and we're going to be seeing those full things unravel. Uh, who knows, this may not be a Pokemon, it might be a trainer. Uh, we don't fully know. Uh, and that's really what's going on here. Uh, a few people are noticing more detail, kind of like the background for the now uh, the wall and the window and stuff like that. You can see the mysterious circle above Mount Cornet again. Um, other than that, there wasn't much going on here. Um, we can see like the evolution kind of going on of the games. Uh, we got X and Y. Um, we got Sun and Moon. And we got the remakes. Personally, I looking at it, I actually kind of do like the remake design more than X and Y, but I also did enjoy X and Y. It's one of my favorites. Um, there's not much else going on with any of that. And this website was just going over, you know, the exact same stuff. Um, nothing new really going on there um so yeah um so that that's all the information we got so far i'm going to be continue i'm going to continue to dig i'm going to link all three of these in the description down below so you guys can take a look you guys can read the descriptions i didn't really didn't see anything noteworthy to really point out um to uh for you guys to pay attention to uh, I'll dive more into it in a little bit, and I'll probably put something else out. But until then, guys, I hope you guys have a great afternoon. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.